It is things like that that people like to pass out of their mind and say when I preach here, there can't be any real truth to that for God is a God of love. That's all I hear today. We're supposed to love ourselves and then appreciate the fact that God loves us because He is a God of love. Therefore, that we can live any way we please, we can live any kind of a life we want to, and there is no accountability at the end of our lives. You have believed a lie. Somebody has been messing with your mind. Now what I'm preaching to you this morning about hell is not new. The message you're hearing from this preacher today is not new. This is what has been preached for 2,000 years. You just don't hear much of it today. And the reason you don't is because you live in the age of deception. You live in a time when men want your money. They're not interested in your soul. Because I've heard people say, it's not about money. It's about peace and it's about joy and it's about love. It's about money. Do you know why the people on your job really ain't Christians right now? Because you are preaching to them Jesus Christ. People ain't worrying about no blood or no cross. They worrying about how they're going to make it through the day. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Show me the money. You don't even need an anointing. If you show money, you won't need money. Right now, you need to make a vow of five thousand dollars. A thousand doesn't get your faith going. You could do a thousand. You need to make a vow of five thousand dollars. Money cometh to me now. They don't care whether you whether you die and go to hell or what. It doesn't matter to them one bit. And the reason they don't care whether you go to heaven or hell is because they are going to hell themselves. The pulpits in America are full of wolves in sheep's clothing that do not care for your soul. If a preacher will get up and preach to you like I am this morning, he will warn you, he will tell you that my friend, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. He will tell you the truth. I remember when I was a boy, I used to think about eternity. I used to sit around and think about it forever and ever and ever. And it would always blow my mind. I always try to get something worked out and to figure where it's coming from and where it's going and to analyze it and break it down. But I could never get a hold of eternity. And I still cannot get a hold of eternity. It is beyond human comprehension. But to think that if you die without God and without the Lord Jesus Christ, that you're going to go off into eternity lost without God. Put yourself on that treadmill. What if it was you that were taking your last breath on this earth? What if you were leaving planet earth and you were about to die? My dear friend, you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know how long you're going to live. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You have no idea. And yet we live like we're going to live forever. It is this false sense of security that Satan has brainwashed men and women with that causes them not to think about their eternal soul. To die without the Lord Jesus Christ is a horrible, horrible thing. Somebody 